feel like my kiddo's not even gonna recognize me. He's gonna be like, where's Trunchbull? Okay, so I know what I said, that, and I wanna hear it. <laughs> Today I wanna do the literal exact opposite makeup of my last video. So recently I talked to you guys about makeup that makes me feel the most beautiful. Lately, it has been very glowy, bronzy, very minimal makeup, just like a slight brown on the lid with natural lashes. Today we are not doing that. Today. I thought we would do a full face of glam makeup. Now, the reason that I wanted to do this today is because last night I was sitting down and I was scrolling through TikTok for and I got stuck on Michaela's page. Now, that's Michaela J Makeup on Instagram and Michaela No, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. If you had told 10 year old Michaela when I started doing makeup 13 years ago, that she was gonna be 22 years old with 5 million followers in just over a year, I don't think she would believe you. <laughs> How freaking gorgeous is this? I'm gonna put Beats by Deb red glitter on the lid. Do you know what I'm saying? Red's just not the color for me. I just went on a binge of watching all of her TikTok content and her talent, makeup skills, her authenticity, the tenacity, the drive. I am so inspired by her because I have watched Michaela grow so quickly. And I just think that her presence online was really needed. And I just love her no nonsense attitude. She's such a positive voice in the makeup space and she's incredibly talented. Every look was just stunning and just so transformative and beautiful. And I was like, I wanna transform myself, damn it. This is what I have done on my channel. I always have done really glam makeup, really big, crazy, smoky eyes. And today's not gonna be crazy, come on, let's just be real. But I really just wanted to go in. I wanted to do a full face of makeup. No garden mom shit today. You know what, I'm, I am gonna start with my eyes today. Sometimes I like to go in and do my face first, but if I want everything to look even more perfect, if I start with my eyes, I usually feel like that's when I'm like, oh, this bitch. So I'm starting off with Tarte Shape Tape, weirdly, I know. I just wanted something that's gonna be really nice and completely full coverage. And this is the new Lunar Beauty sponge. I'm testing it out today to see how I like it. So far, I will tell you, it gets huge. Like from when you open the package and wet it, it gets massive. It really, really increased in size. I mean, probably doubled at least. So the palette that I wanted to use today to have a really flawless, smoky makeup was the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. Now this isn't brand new or anything, but I just, I'm really, really feeling these colors here today because I want like a really smoky, like outer wing sort of look. And that's what I'm gonna go for. So I'm gonna start off with a fluffier brush. This is the Makeup Addiction Soft Crease Brush. And I'm gonna start off with this shade here from the palette. Well, we gotta do a little peel porn. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of run that over my entire lid just up through the crease and kind of winged out. This is gonna be mostly focused on my like lid area. I don't really want a ton of crease work going on for today's look, but I do wanna have at least a base shade down. I feel like so much creativity is over on TikTok. If you guys aren't on the app, I wasn't for a long time either. Like I created my first TikTok and then I just kind of dipped out, but I feel like there are so many creative people over on that app, I swear to you. I just can't even believe some of the stuff that people do. It's just amazing. So if you guys aren't on the app, I mean, I feel like there are people over there that have such talent that aren't as active on YouTube, but just like what an insanely talented bunch of people. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna dip into this shade here on the bottom and I'm really gonna sweep that here on the lid, kind of focusing it towards the outer portion of the eye. Anything that looks really messy, I'm gonna just clean up with a little bit of concealer at the end so it really doesn't matter. Since I'm doing my eyes first, it makes the biggest difference. If you're gonna do your eyes first, you can be a lot sloppier. I always pluck my eyebrows before I start and there's always 77,000 hairs still left. I just want that like super, super sexy. I hate the word sexy. God, does it make anyone else cringe saying the word sexy? Sexy. It just makes me feel like, but I want that like smoky outer wing. That's one word I don't think I can ever say without cringing a little bit in my heart. I don't cringe when other people say it. Oh, you look so sexy. Oh, it just feels like I'm saying something like wrong, dirty. <laughs> trust me, I know this looks crazy, but hopefully it won't soon. I say hopefully because I don't know. You have to trust the process because honestly, sometimes you will get halfway done and be like, 
I have never looked worse. And then at the end, it's like your favorite look you've ever done. So you just have to trust that it's going to come together. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I am going to just put a little bit of a smoky shade. I'm just gonna like use this darker shade here, mix with a little bit of black here, and I'm going to take it and just kind of run it along that so that I have like a smoky wing, but not one that's actually like painted on. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into those shades kind of mixed together and I'm taking this on a little Smith 212 brush, which is this flat little guy. This is one of those looks that's super easy. It's impactful, it's gonna be really, really pretty, but it's really easy. You don't have to be some kind of genius at doing eyeshadow or makeup at all because it just sort of once you get the whole look going together it's just going to be really impactful now you don't need lashes today i am definitely going to wear them uh, i asked you guys in one of my recent videos what you prefer and you know it's a mixture but i'd say a lot of people prefer no lash looks or they don't mind watching them but you don't typically wear them all that often so for me Lately I haven't been, but I definitely love the way that I look and feel when I wear lashes. If you don't, you can just do like a really nice coat of mascara. Looks a little patchy right now. It's not the eyeshadow. It is absolutely me. Skills, where are they? After watching Michaela, I feel like I'm a child playing with makeup. I'm twice her age. You want you know how that feels? Not good. I am gonna be doing some more TikTok videos coming up here soon because I am so inspired by the looks that I've seen over there and just by the sheer talent in some of these videos and I wanna recreate some of them because I've seen some really cool hacks that I would love to give a try to and see, it. do they work? I don't know, maybe maybe they do. I could use some new techniques, you know? Mama's kinda stuck in the past. <laughs> Dude, one of my eyes always looks better than the other. It's almost like a rule with makeup that both eyes can't just look the same. At the end, they definitely like, come together and look similar, but it's like, it always has to be that one of them just looks so much neater and one of them is giving me a bitch at the time. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna worry about it too much because right now what I'm gonna do, oh, do I wanna use any of these? Hold please. We're gonna just do the matte look right now because I'm kind of feeling this like sultry matte eye look. I am gonna bring in the inner corner when we get the rest of the eyes done, but right now I am going to take a little bit of liner. I'm gonna try this. This is the M Cosmetics liner. I have not used this, I don't think, have I? You guys probably remember more than me. This is the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner. And I am going to take this and just do like a gentle, gentle little line right by my lash line. It's almost like you're just adding a little bit more, like starting with the lightest and you're adding it to the darkest. And I feel like that right there is gonna help the lashes tie in. So lash wise, I found these and these look really beautiful. They look intense, but that's what I'm going for today. And I'm gonna kind of cut these down to size a little bit. These are the Time LA Duchess lashes. And I've worn these before and I remember really, really liking them. And so I'm gonna toss these on. These are a faux mink lash, so they are not mink. I don't wear mink. Oh. Bitch. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these down because these lashes are really big and I wanna focus more on the outer corner. If I started them on the inside, that's what they would look like and I just feel like that's way overkill for what I'm going for right now. So I'm gonna chop off quite a bit of the outside and sort of focus these on the outer lash, but that's kind of a cool thing that you can do if you didn't know, which probably most of you do, but you can kind of customize your lashes. If they're just too long for you, which most lashes straight out of the box are, then you just kind of chop them down to what you like and you can really change the whole look of the lash by placing it in a different spot of your eye. So I'm gonna cut off the entire outer section right here. Just boop. And then I'm gonna toss on some lash glue. I still don't have my nice lash glue that I like, so I'm using the Tarte lash glue and I really don't like this one, but it'll work in a pinch today, but I way prefer the Duo Lash Adhesive. So if you have that, I mean, honestly, and it's way cheaper. I know this eye look doesn't look that glam, but with these lashes, and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line, it's gonna be stunning. I feel like my kiddo's not even gonna recognize me. He's gonna be like, where's Trunchbull? There she is. She's back. <laughs> Why did she ever go? It's just like something came over me last night. I was watching TikTok and I was just like so inspired by makeup and just so inspired by seeing people create. You sometimes just, it takes a minute and you just gotta rediscover yourself. And I feel like that's what I did last night. I was sitting there and I was just like mesmerized by watching makeup tutorials and watching people test out products and test out different techniques because I feel like sometimes we get stuck in the rut of the same techniques. I mean, even today, I feel like I'm 
probably doing that. But I wanna test out this technique that I saw for foundation and I'm really excited to try that out and see how it changes my face. I also wanna follow some people's tutorials. I think I might follow one of Michaela's as well because honestly, this bitch, she just tries things that I don't try that often. I mean, honestly, like I still feel like neutral makeup is my jam right now. Okay, loving the way these look. Very simple, anyone can achieve, but it's like impactful, you know? Just sort of looks like my eye elongates like that. Okay, I love that. I'm gonna let these dry down for a bit and I'm gonna work on my foundation. Foundation, I am not going to test out a new one today. I am going to go in with what I know I like right now. And that was mixing a bit of Auric Glow Lust in with the Pure Foreign one. I know, I know, I know I use the same thing all the time, but I'll tell you why, because I like it <laughs> and it just works. Tell me what is a new foundation that you want me to try? I had a dream that I was trying one out and I looked incredible and then I woke up and couldn't remember what it was, but I swear it was a real foundation. I just can't remember. I've already moisturized with the Tatcha water cream and I'm going to apply this and then I'm going to blend it out with the Lunar Beauty sponge. I'm gonna put it on with this. I'm already so in love with the way these eyes look. I might do a little bit of shimmer. I'm kind of feeling the matte though. I just feel like that matte looks so sultry. I can say sultry. That's kind of a similar vibe than sick. This sponge is one of these. So it's got the flat side. So it's very similar in shape to like the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge, which I really do like. So it's, it is very similar to that. So if you're looking for like a dupe, that one I think would be one. It feels very similar. This one feels larger, maybe a little denser, but very close. Bring it down quite a bit on my neck. My color match isn't that great. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape again. And this is in the shade Medium Sand, which is a little dark, but it's really not. If you look at it, it's really not that dark. It kind of works for me which I would never say that I was like a medium sand type of person. Like I used to go in with a really, really fair shade, but sometimes I feel like that's just a little too light for me. See, and then this is the time where you can clean it all up. Went a little too ham, clean it up. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just sort of put a tiny bit of it down here. I have a bit of redness down here. That's like my reddest area. I don't know why, but it always has been. I have a lot of redness on the bottom of my cheeks. People say it's a hormonal thing, PCOS maybe. I've had it forever. But I usually have to go extra coverage down here. Okay, now I'm gonna take a bit of powder and set my under eyes. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty powder. I'm just gonna do a tad bit, just to kind of set that down a little bit. This is in the shade Banana Bread. I like this sponge. I feel like it's totally working good. Sometimes the sponge is just a little too firm for me. That doesn't feel too firm at all. Okay, so face is set and now I'm going to go in with bronzer. And the bronzer that I typically really love working with is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. I just feel like it looks really pretty on my skin, but uh, any bronzer will work. I'm gonna take this, and this is the Smith 133. I've never used this brush before, but it's a little more dense and I thought it might work really nice to get like a good, oh. A good too much, too much bit of product on my face. Wow, this is applying more product than I thought it would. But I guess it's a more of a dense brush, so I don't know why I'm surprised. Really soft. And I'm not gonna do my typical like bronzer over the nose. I'm doing like that more glam, keeping all of the product towards the back of my face to really lift everything. It's a completely different look. That's what's so fun and cool about makeup is that just in placement, it can change the entire shape of your face and it's, washes right off. I'm gonna take a little down here too. It's gonna chisel out my jawline. You don't usually wanna use bronzer for that, but. A little bit on the bottom of my nose here, just so that not only the perimeter of my face has bronzer on it. The other day I saw a video of myself or I think it was Zach took a video of me outside or something and it literally looked like I just had a line on my face. It was not cute, so. I need to really work on that blending. I never contour my nose. I know that's a thing that a lot of people do. Just feel like I have such a thin nose that it's not necessary at all, but I am adding just a tiny bit of this product. Um, hello? Just so that the center of my face doesn't look completely pale. 
but I'm not doing what I would typically do and like go over the entire nose. Okay, brows need some work. I got this in the mail and I have yet to try it. I think this is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. The packaging is so interesting because it came from Nude Sticks, yet it doesn't have Kathleen anywhere on the packaging. So I didn't realize that was the case. And then I was like, but wait, I swear this was for her product. And then when I looked further, apparently that's the case. So I don't know why, but the packaging doesn't have her on it. Maybe I missed that. But this is the Brow Boost and Set Gel XL Booster. So I don't know really how to use this. It's a long wearing medium hold clear gel that grooms and sets your brows in place, packed with multivitamins and peptides. Brush on brows for a feathery natural look. Okay, so I'm gonna put my brows on first and then I am going to set it with that and see how that works. Product I wanna try today, I've been only using pencils. I've been using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, but I wanna try something else today. I wanna go in with this from Urban Decay and this is the Brown Sugar Soft Medium Brown Brow Putty Double Down Brow. It comes with a little spoolie and a little brush, so it's kind of perfect. It comes with two different brow colors in there, so I'm going to just sweep that on. Since it comes with that, I feel like I'm a lot more apt than having to like go find a brush, but since it just goes right in there, I think this product could be useful. Is this even still sold? Like, is this an old product and I'm just now discovering it? I went and looked through my makeup stash and I saw it and I was like, wait, ha have I even tried that? But I don't know that I've seen anyone talk about it recently. So I could be using something that's literally not even sold anymore. I'm kind of liking the lighter shade in this and then using a little bit of the darker shade on my tail of my brow, but I'm liking the lighter shade that comes in here. I feel like it works really, really nicely. Feathery brows are what's in right now. And I, I haven't been spending any time on my brows because they are just a step in my makeup routine that is so daunting to me. Like just don't, just literally just be. I'm having to fill in the hair on my face. Isn't it interesting? I, I've talked about this before, but isn't it just so interesting how like beauty is considered like more beautiful when the hair on our face is like more defined? Like, okay, longer hair on your eyes, darker hair above your eyes. Okay, so that's as much as I'm gonna do for the brows. And then I'm gonna throw this product in from Nude Sticks. So let's see. I don't know that I've ever used anything from Nude Sticks before. Have you guys? I wonder how this product is like, how like differs from other, maybe it's like a better hold or something. It does seem to be holding them up. I don't know that I'm as much of a fan of fluffy brows on myself. Like when they're just groomed straight up. For me, it just kind of feels like almost unnatural. Not that I'm going for natural for crying out loud, but it just feels like, why would they go straight up? It looks so good on other people. Oh, I see this. This is really holding. It feels really like it's keeping them in place. And I mentioned in a recent video that lately I've really been liking this M Cosmetics blush. This is Heaven's Glow Faded Clementine. And it's just so pretty. And I feel like it's gonna work really nicely for this look today. And I am gonna use Glow Lust again. I would use a powder highlighter. I just don't know which one I would wanna go with today. And I'm really still loving this product. So I'm just gonna tap this on here. You can use any sort of powder product though. You don't have to use this. I don't think it's available right now. I don't think there's been a restock. Any sort of powder highlighter works. My favorites are Ofra highlighters are beautiful. Lorac has really beautiful highlighters as well. Um, like Gilded Lily and Gilded Rose. I can't remember what the color is. They're really beautiful. I really like the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighters a lot. There's just something about this product that just makes me feel so glowy and stunning. I'm gonna do a little bit of brow highlight. That's not something that I usually ever do, but I just feel like I could use a little bit today. And this is a color from the Huda Beauty palette. Ooh, I kinda like that. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here for a little bit of brow highlight. I'm just gonna take that on my finger, kinda tap it right here. And I think I'm gonna do a little inner corner highlight as well. That was what it needed. I might even extend that inner corner down a little bit so it's more like feline. Take away the mite, I'm doing it. If I can find that brush, which definitely is sitting right in front of me, but where? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take some of that darker brown shade and that same little brush that we use and just sort of pull down that inner corner to extend it to where it makes my eye look more like lengthy and feline. And of course, I just got a ton of fallout on my under eyes. Fuck. Oh no. I'm gonna try to remedy. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can tap a little bit of concealer over that. Liquid on top of powder is never usually a good idea. Shit, I might've just screwed up my whole under eye. I think because I'm using my finger, it's working. 
because of the warmth of my finger, is able to press it in without it disturbing too much of the product underneath or getting cakey. Definitely should have done that step ahead of time. Okay, that that that's fine. But now what I'm gonna do is go in with that same brush that we used on the top of my eye. I'm gonna smoke some of the colors on my lower lash line just a bit. Not a ton, just kind of like that. Just a little bit of color. I'm gonna throw a little bit of brown liner on. That was the step, that was it. And I'm just gonna tie in my eyes with mascara real quick because right now you can see where my natural lashes are. Well, mom, I went on a long walk. Did you sleep? Yes. Hi. Hi, Good darling. Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? Is mommy wearing a lot of makeup? <laughs> yeah. You look cute in your little bucket hat. You look beautiful, mama. Thank you, bubby. Okay, I'm gonna go change my diaper. Okay, mommy be down soon. Okay. Love you. Love you, thank you, dada. Mm -hmm. I'm using waterproof mascara because if anything is a given these days, it's that these eyes cry every night. So, I'm literally obsessed with the way that these eyes look. I feel Stunning. I feel stunning. I feel absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what I needed. Michaela, I could kiss you on your mouth. Thank you for inspiring me. Right now, I just need a little bit of gloss and I wanna try these out today. These are best of nudes from Jouer and I haven't tried these out, so I just wanna see. Oh, okay. I'm already feeling this one right here, which is the Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss in Diamond Walk. Ooh, I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, I like that very much. Ooh, I really like these. They're very oily feeling, but they have like a beautiful amount of pigment. I'm gonna use a little bit of a darker one in the center, as you know I do, and this is Cherie, Cherie, Cherie. Mm. Okay, loving these. Wow, the comfort of this product it literally feels like I just rubbed coconut oil. So it's very, very, very soft. Zero stick to these at all. Mm. Okay, and I need some spray on my face. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm just gonna set everything in. Oh, I forgot how good this smells. Oh, <laughs> zhuzh up my hair real quick. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much to not just Michaela, but to all of TikTok and your incredible talent for inspiring me to play around with makeup again and to get glam and to just go for it. I feel like I want to start experimenting with more fun colors on my lid and like pops of color and maybe some glitter. But this was a really good transition back into glam and I feel so beautiful and that is such a good feeling. I am really loving this makeup. I love this glam so much. I am so excited to start playing with makeup again, to start trying out new looks. If there's anybody that you guys can recommend that you think that I would really like, that is really inspiring, has really cool makeup, or you'd love to see me recreate their looks or test out TikTok hacks, send those videos my way. I would love to know. You guys can send them on Twitter. I'm back on Twitter sometimes. Okay, I'm okay. I needed a moment and I'm back on Twitter. So you can send it to me on there. You can send it to me on Instagram DM. You can tag me in things on Instagram or tag me on TikTok. I'm on TikTok all the time. I just freaking love that app, dude. I just, I love it. I will link Michaela down in the description of this video. I just, I know that I've really gone on a whole tangent about her, but I'm just so proud of her and how she's grown her platforms, but maintained authenticity and just is, such a powerhouse right now in the beauty industry. And I just feel like we're seeing that shift into different creators. And I just feel like she's seriously killing it. And I'm just so incredibly proud of her. And you guys can follow me on TikTok if you want. I think I'm gonna start posting over there. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. So if you guys wanna follow me on TikTok, you can. It's Raw Beauty Christy, everything is the same. And uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I loved filming it and I'm gonna go fill so good about myself for the rest of the day, I cannot even tell you. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. And I'm feeling good. My orange. Yeah. Some of you say you can't see it. Just look.
look at my orange beard. And look how my orange beard is gone. I'm gonna be using the Huda, Huda, Huda. But any sort of palette, Pala ha 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 ha. This chair is sexy.